Okay, in my last video, I was sorting out some cooling issues and pulled away my radiator to find that my fan had come loose from the camshaft. So after finding that the fan had been fairly damaged and is basically unusable now and a complete risk to reinstall into the bike, um, and finding out fortunately that my radiator seems to have gone undamaged, so really lucky there, um, I've learned that I can do an electric fan mod to this bike which uh, removes the need for this mechanical fan and actually seems to provide better cooling power. So what I've done is picked up a Kawasaki electric fan. This is from a, uh, I believe it's a ZX6R. So what I like about this Kawasaki fan in particular is that the size, as you can see, is very similar to the stock replacement. So I'm making the assumption that it should be able to flow the same amount or better volume of air and that's got these nice th mounting points here here and here that should be easily mountable to the stock fan shroud that sits within the um, front motor mount. When going to electric fan that these doing this mod has a tendency or can possibly burn out the ignition switch because the, the, the current drawn from the fan it ultimately comes through the ignition switch and can burn out the ignition switch. So I don't want that. So what I'm also going to be doing is I'm going to be installing a relay system along with a temperature sensor so that this fan runs automatically, it runs on the relay, and is completely um, automated. And the biggest kicker is that where the old fan mounts to the camshaft, there's a little tapered end that would interfere with this fan being mounted. So I've got to take a um, cutting wheel and cut off that tapered end to allow for enough room for this fan to fit. So I'm going to be doing that as well. So this should be a pretty interesting little video. So here's where the tapered end of the camshaft originally mounted to the mechanical fan. It's about a one inch extension of the camshaft that would interfere with the mounting of the electric fan. So I've got to take that off. Now there's a few different options here, but the option that I'm going with is to just cut back the tapered end so that there's about an eighth of an inch of it extended from the old seal. So at the end of the camshaft removed, there's just enough room for the fan to fit, but I want to go back and do a quick bit of smoothing to give me a little more clearance and to give a good finished end on that camshaft. So what I've already done is shortened those fan brackets and cut them and bent them a little bit so that I can begin to test fit the fan into the shroud. As I'd mentioned that outer shroud there is what I'm going to be welding the fan to and the first thing I want to do is get these brackets just right so I can center the fan within the shroud. The idea here is to center the fan and also make sure it's as close as I can get to the original radiator to maximum, maximize its cooling potential. So what I'm doing here is just making sure that the fan is lined up as square as possible with the shroud. Although I didn't record it, I did end up removing the shroud with the fan tacked in place. I wanted to get a little bit better wells before making the installation final. So the next step is to figure out where I'm going to get power to the fan and power to the relay. Now the relay is going to be powered by the ignition switch and the fan itself is going to get direct power from the battery with a little fuse connection. So ideally what makes sense is to connect the relay power to the ignition accessory power line. However, this bike doesn't have that anymore. So what I need to do is connect the relay to a branch of the bike power switch. So that's what I'm doing here is actually adding in a new wire to the original connector that allows the relay to be turned on when the remainder of the bike is turned on. If I were correct on this, I'm pretty sure that the 79s didn't have an accessory harness anyway, or at least the customs don't. So for those of you with customs, this is what you're going to be doing to enable power to turn the relay on. So 
the main power wire for the fan is going to have a fused connection directly to the battery. What I'm going to go ahead and do is tuck the fuse inside the battery box. There's just enough room to keep it hidden in there. So now what I need to do is disassemble my harness and run the main fan power wire up through the harness to the upper part of the frame. The plan here is to tuck the relay and override switch and all of the new harness components to run the fan all in a nice little bundle underneath the fuel tank. So for those of you interested in doing this fan relay installation, I've got a link in the comments below that actually uh, give you all the detail you need to do this exact same setup. So according to the instructions, what I need to do is install the relay. And what I'm doing here is installing the relay's socket, a connection to the thermostat switch that will be mounted to the bottom of the radiator, and a manual override switch that will override the thermostat switch in case of an emergency. Next comes a couple steps in testing. So I'm testing the switch to make sure that it's getting voltage. So that's good. The override switch is working. And I'm also going to test the thermostat switch connection as well to make sure that the relay is functioning correctly and wired up. And it appears that it is working. I've got 12 volts there on the multimeter. And for one last test, okay, yeah, basically everything is working good. Yeah, everything is great. Wonderful. It's all working good. Good job. It's kind of rough, but you can see where I'm going to be mounting the relay and the switch up at the top of the frame there. I do eventually button it up a little better, but that's generally the location in the, on the bike where you've got quite a bit of space between the frame and the tank. Okay, and the moment of truth. Plugging in the fan and making sure that all of my wiring and my switch actually works. Okay, so what's next is to install the sensor, which has not yet arrived. So when it does, I'll post up the next video installing the sensor and reinstalling the radiator. And we'll take this bike out for a quick ride and see how much better the electric fan system is over mechanical. So, see you next time.